Hello, dear students uh, from ESCP. Um, we'd like to pitch uh, today uh, to you our Motherland Initiative, and uh, we want to get you on board to really change the course of Africa. Yes. We'd like to introduce ourselves briefly, so you know who's uh, talking to you now. Um, my name is Thomas. Um, I have been building uh, four nonprofit organizations for the last two decades, um, and always with the aim of trying to contribute towards making the planet a good place. And I'm Sebastian. Um, I'm working in innovation and uh, a startup space for also uh, almost two decades now. And I had the opportunity to build up uh, a couple of the well-renowned uh, um, corporate startup innovation activities here in Berlin for Deutsche Telekom, Hubraum Incubator, and the Energy Innovation Hub. And uh, two years back, I decided to give my course and my work uh, a greater impact by focusing on utilizing entrepreneurship, innovation, and technology for the good of the planet. Hello, my name is Kipto and I'm based in Nairobi, Kenya, uh, where I'm originally from. Uh, I am a software engineer uh, and by background, um, and right now I'm an entrepreneur uh, working on my own startup uh, in the transportation tech space. Um, I am generally very excited and motivated most uh, by building solutions that uh, help make people's lives better and uh, uh, particularly uh, very devoted to the cause of uh, and the lives of people on this African continent. So I'm very excited about what we're going to uh, talk to you today about. Yes, and we and a couple other entrepreneurs from Africa, we have created this Motherland Initiatives. We started six months ago and uh, our aim is to identify a challenge that is really worth uh, solving to impact uh, the life of a billion people uh, in a positive way. And all that by utilizing the power of entrepreneurship and technology for the good of the planet and our people. And we said good of the planet several times now. Um, what do we actually mean? Um, we mean that we're facing massive existential risk as humanity. So most of the ways we structure, use to structure ourselves as humanity lead us towards some hard dead ends, hard walls. We're based in exploitation of the planet and of the people. And what we believe is that we have to move from a degenerative way of doing economics to a regenerative way, far beyond sustainability. And not only economics, but also our societal model. And we believe that this is absolutely vital to bring us through this century as humanity. Yeah, and by working with entrepreneurs uh, all over the planet right now, so building up an accelerator program in Sri Lanka, working with a group of entrepreneurs in Africa, working with entrepreneurs in South uh, America. Uh, we have seen that there are everywhere people that are working hard to solve the most pressing topics and not only in a sustainable way, but in a regenerative way. And so, and they're utilizing technology, yeah, and the power of entrepreneurship to solve that challenges and uh, create jobs and create prosperity uh, with a different narrative than we have seen in the past. And we absolutely believe and see the power of these forces. And uh, we want to use that. So I am one of the Africa-based entrepreneurs uh, that continue to receive support from local and global um, startup supporters like Sebastian and Thomas. And um, when I learned about the opportunity to participate in uh, the initiative of Motherland, I was very excited. Uh, 
not only to work with international, but also um, uh, entrepreneurs from other parts of this continent, uh, people across the, uh, the industries and, uh, and the geographical space that is our continent. This is very important to us, uh, those of us in Africa, because we have the unique opportunity to uh, chart a new path forward, to avoid the mistakes that have been made elsewhere in the world, um, and, and really uh, pursue development in a, in a compassionate, in a uh, uh, ecologically uh, responsible way, and in a way that is fairer for everyone. And that is why uh, we're very excited about the possibility of working together and, and uh, really driving the initiatives that uh, we will articulate uh, as we continue with Magala. All of these really massive undertakings and thoughts need some strong foundational principles. And our foundational principles are first, think big. Because if we don't think big, we cannot solve any of these massive problems. We're thinking on the level of how can we impact uh, the life of billions of people or at least a billion people in a positive way. But also, the second deep foundational principle is how do we how can we scale how can we put scaling into our dna how can we leverage the enormous power of modern technology to scale and the third one is about participation we do this together we are um like dr zorskopf likes to say team human we're in this together all of us and the fourth and last one is local value. The value should stay where it has been created. In this case, it should stay on the African continent. And this is the reason why we started with unconferences uh, to bring our African network uh, into a participatory process and not saying what we want to do or what we think should be done, uh, but figuring out in a process of uh, a couple of unconferences until today. And uh, we have talked uh, to more than 100 entrepreneurs, change makers, innovators in Africa. We have sent around several questionnaires to really uh, validate uh, our findings uh, to come up with something that really matters. And uh, by doing this, we have now created uh, a substantial uh, foundation uh, for the way forward. Yeah, so, um, you know, being based here, uh, I am born and raised in a rural area of uh, Kenya. And like many others who are part of this initiative, uh, work directly with people uh, on the entire value chain. And part of why this is uh, important for what we're doing is that uh, we're very close uh, to heart with the problems that we are uh, looking at, uh, all the way from the farm to the table. In particular, we identified, uh, we mapped out all the possible problems that we could think about uh, that start uh, from the farmer side and all the way to the consumer uh, side. And our thesis is that to bring about the biggest change, we start from the, um, the consumer. We believe that change should be demand driven because at the end of the day, it's all about the needs of the consumer, uh, going from uh, health and safety concerns to nutrition, to uh, distribution, uh, and of course, you know, pricing considerations. Our focus uh, at the moment is to start with the post uh, harvest side of the value chain and um, with a vision of uh, causing positive ripple effects down the value chain. And of course, we aren't the only ones looking at this. Um, so far, we have identified 250 startups and initiatives across the continent um, who are working at portions of this post harvest value chain. Um, and all of this might seem like there's not a lot left, not a lot left to do, but um, uh, Sebastian will run you through what we intend to do together with you in this project. 
Exactly. So we really want you and we need you because we have now done uh, a tremendous work so far, uh, but now there is uh, also a tremendous amount of data we need to process yeah, and learn and figure out what are really uh, the change making activities, whether they're startups, initiatives or whatever on uh, the African continent. And therefore, you need to analyze uh, to analyze the database, yeah, create kind of a mapping where things happening that are really creating impact, um, structure that on the value chain. We have created already a map uh, for that. And uh, we need to identify the most promising solutions because if we or partners in the future um, want to decide where to put the money on, uh, we should be able to tell them. And this will be part of the pitch we are jointly creating together. And with the result of this work, we are going uh, for fundraising to build this initiative even bigger because this is only the start. And uh, you could become part of that. Yeah. So as, as Sebastian mentioned, we will take this out into our network. Um, we have a global network of philanthropists, entrepreneurs, NGOs, investors, specifically impact investors. And with the knowledge and the concepts coming out of this project, we will approach them to get the funding to actually build out this concept in order to then learn and afterwards scale across the continent. And we would like you to be part of this. We will take you into the presentations, into the pitches. We will invite you to become part of the team if you are so. Yeah, as Thomas said, we are one team. Yeah, and therefore we are not uh, uh, going back yeah, and see how you do the work. We are going to work with you. And so there will be regular check-ins. We will support you with our know-how from, from the entrepreneurial, from the technical, uh, from every space we have gathered in uh, experience for the last uh, 20 years. And we will give you access to that. And we jointly come up with a great result. And therefore, come and apply and work with us. If you're ready to make a big impact and really uh, help us bring our ambitions to uh, reality, we would love to engage and bring you on board as a thought partner. Thank you.